This is a Game Caviar production. Not having any Game Caviar Studios coming at you with some Crisis 3 gameplay. I sound like a DJ on a damn disco channel radio station. Not having any Game Caviar Studios coming at you live with some Crisis 3 gameplay. This is um, where you take the relay and you take it to the helicopter. This game mode is really cool. And this is the Cell vs. Rebel. Something that I've been playing a lot. I like this game mode. It doesn't have any perks and no health regeneration. So there is a more uh, human side to this as opposed to dealing with the, the nano suit and the armor and the cloaking, which is cool in its own aspect. But sometimes, I like, for me, I like to just deal with, give me a gun, put me on a team, give me an objective, and uh, allow me to wage war. But that's not what this video is about. I like the fact that Crisis 3 looks amazing. It's beautiful. It plays well. I like the weapons. I like the sound and, you know, all the bells and whistles that came along with this game. What I don't like is the fact that they don't have dedicated servers. What I want to see in the next generation are sh first-person shooter games or games that have an online component have it mandatory and it doesn't have to be like a law like congress doesn't have to pass this law they have a tough enough time passing you know, budgets and things that you would think they should pass but I, I want it to be like an unspoken rule that if you have a game with an online component then include a dedicated server because it brings a higher quality to the gameplay and you're not re relying on um you know, this peer-to-peer -peer connection or whatever the hell Black Ops 2 tried to do, which isn't working at all. And um, Call of Duty, man. Uh, and and when, you, when people think, especially gamers that play these shooting games, when you hear dedicated server, the first thing that normally pops into your mind is Call of Duty because they are notorious for not believing in the dedicated server concept for whatever reason. They're cheap. I, I don't want to hear the... Uh, Oh, it costs too much money. We don't have enough money to maintain dedicated servers. Oh my God. You made a billion dollars. Dedicated servers cannot be that expensive, especially when you have Battlefield 3 and Homefront that run off dedicated servers on console. Homefront is a game that is beautiful. I like that game. It's really cool. And I still play it. It still has an online community. Crytek, the people who make Crisis 3 are making the next Homefront. And it will most likely have dedicated servers, I hope. Crisis 3 does not have dedicated servers, but I hope Homefront 2 does. I keep my fingers crossed. Seriously, please cross your fingers with me for the remainder of this video. You know, but I like I like the whole... Uh, I like dedicated servers, man, because it takes out that whole who's going to be host, who's going to be host, who's going to be host, boy. You going to be host, boy? It, it takes that out of the, the gameplay, man. Like in Black Ops 2... I mean, it used to be cool in Call of Duty if you were the host. You're like, hell yeah, I'm the host. I'm about to rip some shit apart. Now, it's like, if you're the host in Black Ops 2, it's like, oh man, I'm about to take it in there. You know what? And, it's, and, it, and it sucks because the game, the architecture of the game is that way. If you're the host, you, 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 you're done, son, before the match even started. And it's, it's I don't know whether it's like that in, in uh, Crisis 3. I don't know whether I've been host or not, but I do know the lag and things that is that when it hits you in this game it hits you like a ton of bricks it's it's it becomes rampant at times i like that host migration it seems to be quick although they don't give you the the, the infamous countdown like call of duty does so it's like if you don't pay attention you know you're just gonna be standing there in the middle like a like a deer in the headlights but uh in this match alone it's coming up in a second or two you will see that the match just disconnects and that's the end of it and uh and it, it has to do with that absence of dedicated servers, man. I can count on my hand, one hand, the amount of times that I've been disconnected from a server while playing Battlefield. Uh, you know, because they, I, you don't have to deal with that. And I want that to be transferred to the next generation consoles. New consoles, new games, higher specs, dedicated servers. Like, make it happen, developers. Let me know what you feel in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, this match and video was over, so... I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.